It was a different time, a different enemy. 60 men from tier one teams were sent to face down a force of 500 enemy fighters. Their objective, to force the enemy back from a civilian hospital and keep its occupants alive. For three days they held their ground. But the enemy's numbers were too great. The 60 were cut down to 15. They wouldn't last another night, and the enemy knew it. Under the cover of darkness, they evacuated the hospital, sending only one of their own to lead the way. The rest returned to the line, and took up positions beneath the bodies of their fallen brothers. As they lay in wait, the blood from the dead poured over them. The sand stuck to their skin like a shroud, changing them, anointing them. When the enemy drew near, the remaining 14 rose out of the desert sand. They were like hunters that couldn't be seen, using stealth their enemies couldn't defend against. When the men ran dry of ammunition, they used their blades. And when the blades ran dull, they used their hands. When the dust and sand had settled, only one of the enemy had survived. He was picked up in the desert, wandering aimlessly, traumatized. He expressed warnings to others of a force so menacing and unbeatable, it could only be described as supernatural. He called them ghosts. And this really happened. So the legend goes. Come on, Dad. You don't honestly believe that story's true. Yeah, I do. Come on, let's head back to the house. Let's go. Shake a leg. Oh, a little tremor there. <laughs> Those things used to freak the hell out of your mother. Another one? Yeah, we'll get a couple more of them before everything settles down. Wind started to pick up, too. to the house, make sure nothing got damaged. Get 
to verify.
Specialist Mosley. Kira. We have LOS with the crew of Odin Control. Repeat, loss of signal with Odin Control. The Federation's rise to power had started years ago. When the great energy-producing deserts were destroyed, the world powers that depended on them collapsed. And in their wake, the Federation began to rise. The Federation united all of South America under one banner and devoured everything in its path as it moved relentlessly to the north. After turning Odin against us, the Federation stood on the doorstep of America, poised for the kill. They thought we were weak, crippled, prey, waiting to be taken. We fought hard. We fought well. We fought them to a bloody stalemate. And here, just beyond the craters of no man's land, we find ourselves in a defensive war against a more powerful enemy. Viking Six, you there? Hesh. Logan. Uh, copy. Yeah, we're here. Go ahead. Reports are coming in. Dallas got overrun last night. Command wants another sweep of the wall ASAP. Oh, shit. Any survivors? Negative. Sorry I didn't wake you. Thought you could use a sleep. Got something. Grab a gear, let's move. Team two, are you near our position? Negative, we're outside. Your voice got something? Riley does. We're checking it now. 
We gotta keep moving. <laughs> Guess Riley was getting hungry. You don't want to eat anything out here, boy. Let's head back, get you some real food. Sergeant, your area secure? Just about. We need to sweep this side of the wall and we're good. We'll take the left side. Should go quick. Regroup at the gas station. You got it.
for transport. Roger, commandeering for transport. Logan, you're on security in the back. <laughs> Go find the old man. Dad. I heard about the attack. You boys okay? Always. Walk with me. Dad, they're executing civilians. I know. Their recon teams round up scavengers, drifters, hoping to find a way into the city. It's how they took Dallas practically overnight. So how can we help? Dad. Listen, you boys. You're the only thing I've got left in this world. Dad, listen. But you're also the only ones I can trust. Hey, look. Whatever it is, Logan and I, we're ready. You two are going to no man's land. Wait, for real? We've been on the defensive for far too long, so I'm sending you outside the wall. You'll link up with a recon team, gather any intel you can on the enemy, and get your asses back here. So where in no man's land are we going? Somewhere you know better than anyone. You're going home. sending us out there, it must have been important to him. Still, I couldn't help but think this was another one of his tests, a lesson he was trying to teach us.